having trouble finding the correct feed format for my YouTube channel as it add it to properties, tried all the ones attached in the training, but it doesn't look like it's summary feed, content feed. They don't seem to be working, but then again, I could be doing something wrong. There should be an update training, Ed, inside the training about how the R Google, uh, YouTube changed their API and it messed their RSS feeds up, and that should be already covered in the update section of the training. And I will post the link in here. Okay. And uh, you've got the YouTube RSS examples somewhere else? Is that what you're doing? On the support uh, page, we've got okay, uh, and um, and just so you know, some of the services that used to work with YouTube feeds don't work anymore with the new feeds, and that's just the way that it is. You know, I mean, welcome to the web; the things evolve, and that. And so, if you if you do have the correct feed format edit and it's not working, just move on. Don't waste more time on that. Okay. There's, uh, there's too many other things that you could be doing that are working, and that's why I said, guys, I've said this many times before, but those of you who hadn't heard it, if you if you got properties that aren't working properly in IFTTT, nine times out of ten, first of all, always go double check. Make sure you've got everything connected properly. But if everything is connected properly and it's just not working, move on. Stop wasting time because 90% of the time, it's going to be an issue with either IFTTT or the Web2 platform itself that will get resolved on its own. And you spinning your wheels trying to make it work is not going to help it. In fact, all it's going to do is end up leaving you frustrated and you will have wasted time that you could have been setting up other properties that do work correctly. So my, again, I'm not saying if it doesn't work, just move on. I'm saying if it doesn't work, make sure all of your connections are correct. But if even after then you're you're 100 percent positive that all your connections are correct and it's still not working, just move on and put a cal you know make a calendar note to go back and check on it in five days or seven days or ten days, whatever. And then most of the time, again, nine out of ten times, it will have it will have sorted itself out and start working by by then. And you will have saved yourself loads of time. How do I know this? Because I used to be a perfectionist with all that and used to try to make everything work 100% of the time, and I can't tell you how many hours I lost trying all that before I realized that I was completely wasting time. I was procrastinating from doing other stuff that would actually move my business forward. So, Okay, um, 